Kid Rock just knocked Chuck Schumer the hell out and showed why he will be a perfect politician. Much the chagrin of every liberal career politician in Washington. President Trump busted their private club wide open. Most people didn't think he'd win, but he did. Most people didn't think America was sick enough of the liberal, filth-entrenched bottom feeders that call themselves politicians, but we were. And most didn't think that an outsider could be taken seriously, but he was. And now America is reminded of what it's like to have someone who's not already so entangled with political strings shaking things up in Washington. His victory has inspired all kinds of people to step up and make a play for a position they think they'd be good at. As long as the minimum qualifications laid out in the Constitution are met, there really is no reason why a candidate for a particular office need get the nod from anyone other than voters to take office. That's the case with Kid Rock, who's decided that he'd like to run for Senate. In his less than traditional fashion, he's decided to start making headway with his voters the same way President Trump did through social media. This is allowing him to show the people what his personality is through notifications on their phone. And quite a personality it is. The musician turned political candidate may not be doing things the normal way, but he sure is doing it the entertaining way. Via Twitchy. Possible Michigan Senate candidate Kid Rock is out with his first campaign tweet aimed squarely at Dem Senators Chuck Schumer and Debbie Stabenow. Check it out. He's going to win, isn't he? Some in the blue checkmark brigade noted the time he's eating dinner and think that's an issue. They also don't like his salt and pepper shakers. Hey, senior citizens vote. They get it. As for the food, it looks pretty good to us. What are these people talking about? We have no idea if that meal is from Applebee's or not. But do you know who does eat at Applebee's? Voters. Voters eat at Applebee's and they love it. I get that the liberals really feel the need to complain about something, but these are hardly life-shattering revelations about a rocker. And consequently, they are the same kind of peripheral complaints that people had about President Trump. And he still won. Maybe a salt of the earth Applebee's eating rock singing balls of steel rocker is what the state needs after decades of the likes of Chuck Schumer. Here's are a few more things you might want to know about Kid Rock's political past courtesy of Fox News. Kid Rock's apparent announcement that he plans to run for Senate surprised many but the Rock star has been involved in politics for quite a while. Rock who was born Robert Ritchie, said on social media last week that the website KidRockForsenet.com is, in fact, real. He plans to challenge incumbent Sen Debbie Stabenow, D. Mitch, who has held office since 2001. While the 46-year-old is known mostly for his lucrative and eclectic music career, Rock has also been politically active. I came into this business with two middle fingers in the air. Kid Rock told Howard Stern in 2012, If I had realized you could just be political and piss people off so much I would have done this ST a long time ago. Read on to find out more about Rock's political involvement. Mitt Romney at a Michigan rally for 2012 Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney. Kid Rock performed a small concert for the event. Rock later told radio host Howard Stern that he talked with Romney to make sure he would help Detroit. Romney agreed and gained the musician's support. Rock said, Romney used Rock's Born Free for his campaign theme song. Gun Control Rock said he bought a semi-automatic gun with a silencer when Obama came into office as he was worried the former president would ban guns. If all the guns were taken from American citizens. The only ones who would have guns would be the damn outlaws, Rock said in a long-ranging interview with Rolling Stone. Ben Carson when asked by the New York Times magazine if he would endorse anyone in the 2016 presidential election, Rock said he liked Republican candidate Ben Carson. I'm very interested in the things that Ben Carson has to say, Rock said in February 2015. Confederate flag controversy following the 2015 massacre of nine black churchgoers in Charleston, SC. Several groups protested Rock and museum exhibits showcasing his work. The demonstrators demanded Rock stop displaying the Confederate flag, which he used in shows in the early 2000s. Please tell the people who are protesting to kiss my A. Rock said in a statement at the time. The protests were eventually called off as Rock's representatives said the flag hadn't been used since 2011 when the Detroit chapter of the NAACP gave him a Great Expectations Award. Donald Trump Rock told Rolling Stone in February 2016 that he was digging then-presidential candidate Donald Trump and predicted that he could win the White House. To me, I'm just like, 
we gotta try something else. And, I'm not an expert at political science or anything. I do try to follow things. Obviously, I'm a pretty good, tax-paying citizen of this country. Rock said, let the business guy in there. It's not really working too well running it not like a business. I mean, what business F? G survives when they're F. G broke Rock, along with fellow musician Ted Nugent and former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin, visited Trump at the White House in April. Senate run Rock's campaign website is pretty bare. It only includes links to campaign merchandise and music videos. On Facebook, Rock said he still plans to release music throughout his campaign just as politicians write books during their campaigns. It's not a hoax, it's a strategy and marketing 101, Rock said. Senator Stabenow and I do share a love of music, although probably not the same kind. Rock continued on Facebook. I concede she is better at playing politics than I am so I'll keep doing what I do best, which is being a voice for taxpaying, hardworking, sick, Americans and letting politicians like her know that we the people are sick and tired of their bulls. T he also released what appears to be part of his campaign platform on social media. I believe if you work your butt off and pay taxes, you should be able to easily understand and navigate the laws, tax codes, health care and anything else the government puts in place that affects us all, Rock said.